ask yourself this question. How badly do you want to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? If the answer is no matter what, then stay. Otherwise, run away. <laughs> run away now. Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're back with another quick video. How to run Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on a low-end PC. I also did a video all showing you how to run it with DirectX 11 if you don't, if your computer doesn't have DirectX 12 support. So we're just going to do this one for today. First, we're going to need to find the config file, which will be in the C user. We're doing this very quickly. App data, local very quickly i don't want to beat around the bush too much here with you guys keep you guys waiting too long and sparking zero saved and it's going to be in config i've already copied in both things i will leave them down in the description for you to download the scalability file you'll simply copy and paste in here and there's an engine file i'll also give you that you'll simply need to it'll have all of this information in it you simply need to copy this and you will paste it into the uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero directory right here for engine. That's all you have to do. I, I think that was pretty simple, straightforward, right? Good. Because we're going into Sparking Zero now. And let's see what this does. You have been warned. Holy crap. So here we are at Sparking Zero with all of those tweaks and settings. If you just want normal settings that don't destroy the lighting and everything as well, just use the scalability file. Otherwise, your lighting is going to be kind of crushed. Or just... You can take everything out of the engine file except for screen percentage. Maybe you don't have to 20% and leave it like that. But that's pretty much it. Let's get into the game and see what happens. So basically we've destroyed everything in this game. The RAM usage is absurd. It's using like 15 gigs and I have nothing else in the background running. Nothing. It's actually using it because it realizes it has 32 gigs of RAM. We're using the USB 630 just for the test to show you guys that it can run like this. But yeah, if it if you have the RAM, it will certainly take it. Honestly, I don't think that this is necessarily worth the the drop off in quality. It certainly is not. Like I said, we can. This is ultra potato mode. It does not need to do this because you can't see everything. But this is for those who have like Celerons and crap. You got Celerons and you want to play this game. This is how you will do it. This is how. But otherwise, like I said, just use the scalability file if you don't want it to get this bad. Even for the resolution scalability, I have it at 40% rather than 20, which I normally do. So if you see it at 40, change the screen percentage in the engine file to 20, and maybe don't put in the other commands. I hope I hope this is that to be very simple to follow. I, I really hope that people people got that. I don't think it was difficult. This is just a extreme, extreme, because normally people tell me that, hey, it's not low-end enough for them, so I'm like, hey, this is extremely low-end, dude. We're giving you every opportunity here. I mean, you can play this on a toaster. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This is how we do things in potato mode. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> I can't see anything. Help me.